Lord, everybody. Amen. Truly, we give God the praise on this morning. Amen. We thank God because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome again to, amen, the prayer, praise, and deliverance broadcast on voxwave.com. We are just glad to be here on this wonderful Saturday morning. Amen. Realizing that we're just blessed to be here in the land of the living. Amen. We're just grateful. Amen. The Lord has brought us through another week. Amen. The Lord has protected us. The Lord has blessed us. The Lord has provided our every need. Amen. And for this, amen. We owe God praise this morning. Amen. And I just give him the glory. Hallelujah. For all that the Lord is doing for me. Amen. My soul is grateful for the goodness of God. Amen. And I'm thankful. Amen. And whenever God blesses you, amen, you ought to respond with praise. Amen. Because he didn't have to do it. Amen. But the Lord decided to bless you. So we're just grateful to be here this morning. Amen. Thankful. Amen. For the blessings of God upon our lives. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For being baptized in that wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And being filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Speaking with other tongues as the Spirit of God gives us utterance. Amen. We are just grateful. Amen. And we are excited. Amen. About what the Lord is going to speak to us about on this morning. Amen. And we are glad each and every Saturday morning to come. Amen. And to share word. Amen. We count it. Amen. Our obligation and our duty. Amen. To continue the gospel of the spreading of the gospel of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ across this great medium, amen, foxwave.com. Amen. I have some, uh, some announcements I want to share with you. Amen. Vox Wave now features a streaming radio media now. Amen. Player on our website's front page where local artists can get their music played 24 hours a day, seven days, seven days a week. For more information on getting your music in rotation or to perform live at the studio, Contact Amen Reg Gaskins at 240-832-4455. Amen. We also have Amen the Vox Wave Amen app available. Amen for Android users. Amen. You can Amen go to Amen your Android Amen Play. Amen and download the app. Amen, which is available. Amen in your Google Play Store. Download the app today and your Android devices and listen and view programs. You can just hit the app on your phone. Amen. And view into the different amen shows we have. And they have an exciting lineup here. Amen. Even before I came on this morning. Amen. The word of God was amen being spread and across this medium. Amen. And amen. We're live streaming. So you're seeing amen all over the world. Anybody that has amen, a tablet, a smartphone, a computer. Amen. When they click on voxwave.com. Amen. They're hearing, amen, the word of God going forth. And this is exciting for me. Amen. Because, amen, the Lord has blessed us to have an audience, amen, and God in Africa, amen, that tunes in, amen, and listens to us on Saturday, amen. And I'm praying that the word of God will spread even there and even here, amen, at home in the continental United States of America. Amen. For our business owners, we're looking for a place to advertise your business and promote, promote, your products or services, Voxwave is the right place. We have over 10,000 views a day and 70,000 listeners a month. For more information, again, call Reginald Gaskins, amen, at 240-832-4455, amen. In support of the community, Voxwave will be collecting toiletries such as toothpaste, soap, lotion, antibacterial wipes, socks, shampoo, combs, Amen. Please drop off your donations at the station, which is located at 4711 Off Place in Suitland, Maryland. Amen. We thank God that we are uh, supporting our community. Amen. By, amen, doing coat drives and, amen, different things that we can do to help. Amen. Our fellow men. Amen. We are a 503C, amen, program here. Amen. It's nonprofit, and we do go out and we support our community. Amen. And we also look forward to going out. Amen. As the season changes and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen, across our community and in our parks, amen, wherever it's, amen, permitted. So we are just grateful about the move of God, amen, that God is doing, amen. We have, amen, also, amen, amen, a gospel live, amen, program that comes on on Sunday night at 8 p.m., 
Amen. Tune in. Amen. And see local artists come out and sing, soloists and musicians. Amen. And if you are inspired to come, amen, come on down to the station. Amen. And just showcase your talents. Amen. Who knows what the Lord will do for you if you bless others. Amen. And if you pour out a blessing, God will pour out a blessing upon you. So we're grateful today. Amen. And we, amen, are going to end our announcements now, but we ask for your continued prayers and support. Amen. For our station here. Amen. We're about a good work. Amen. And we're not going to come down. We want to be a servant to the community. Amen. And to audience at large. Amen. And for those small business owners that want to get their name out. Amen. And be able to. Amen. Expand. Amen. This is the place to come. And this is the place to be. Amen. So at this time, amen, we are not going to belabor the time. We are grateful, amen, for the word of God. And we want to get right into what the Lord has to say to us this morning. Amen. And amen. As I say on every Saturday morning, God has a word. Amen. He has a word for us. Amen. That will inspire us. Amen. That will, amen, help us to connect with our purpose and with his purpose for our lives. Amen. Also, amen. While it's on my mind, I want to, amen, encourage you. If you know those that may be, amen, convalescing, amen, in hospitals, amen, and in, amen, nursing facilities that are not able to get out to worship, amen, not able to get out to church, that would like to, amen, have the word of God, amen, to be able to view, amen, to get encouragement, Amen. Send them the link. Amen. Amen. Voxwave, www.voxwave.com. Amen. They can pull us up on tablets. Amen. They can pull us up on their laptops and computers and even smartphones. Amen. They can come and get an encouraging word from the Lord. There's so many ways that we can be able to touch. Amen. Those that are sick and at home, not able to make it to the service. Amen. Tell them that we're on, amen, voxwave.com at 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock on Saturdays with the prayer, praise, and deliverance, amen, broadcast. And I guarantee you, if they tune in, they will be blessed with a word from God, amen. So we want to reach out to our communities, amen. We are using these mediums because God has blessed us to have them to be able to reach out, amen, with the word of truth. So, amen, we want to encourage you, amen, those that have loved ones that are not able to make it to service, amen, and it is such a broad issue, amen, churches are purchasing buses and, amen, vans, amen, to pick up folks who are not able to come or don't have means to be able to make it to the house of God, amen, sometimes our church vehicles are overloaded, we can't get enough, amen, vehicles to get the amount of people that we want to get in for our services, so this is another means, amen, of being able to give them an opportunity to hear the word of God. And I'm mindful of what the word tells us. The Bible says, hear and your soul shall live. Amen. The word of the Lord also says, how can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? Amen. We have men of God that are on this network, amen, that are preaching the word of God. Preachers, amen, that are anointed of God, amen, that are delivering a word of deliverance, amen, that, amen, somebody may need to get them over that next hurdle, that next trial, that next tribulation in their life. So we want you to be mindful of that, amen, in the name of the Lord. Amen. We want to begin our broadcast with prayer. The Bible says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Amen. We are looking for God to bless. Amen. And if we can evoke the presence of God in this broadcast and the Lord can send his anointing, <clears throat> we know that, amen, somebody will be blessed. Amen. Somebody will be delivered and somebody will be set free. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to let you know that the anointing makes the difference. Amen. So therefore we pray for the presence, amen, of God to come into this room, his Shekinah glory to fill this place so that, amen, we can be used of God, amen, to plant a seed in the life of the believer. Amen. Bow your heads with us, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this opportunity that you blessed us to be able to come on this morning, Lord God, to rise early, oh God, with Jesus on our minds and on our hearts, Lord God, to, oh God, share the word of God. We thank you for the opportunity. We thank you for the open door. Now, Lord God, we ask that you would bless the word of God, that we are prepared to speak unto your people, Lord. Lord God, give them ears to hear. 
what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Oh, God, speak a word, Lord God. Hallelujah. It only takes a word to change a situation, to change a life, to change a circumstance. You said, speak the word, and I will bring it to pass. So, Father, we ask that you would send your anointing now, that you would send your deliverance now, that you would bless someone right now. Lord God, someone is facing a trial. Oh, God, that is devastating their mind, amen, troubling them, oh, God. We ask for a word that will comfort them, that will ease the pain, ease, the, Lord, the fear and the doubt that's attempting to grip their minds and to destroy their faith. We ask that you would bless them now, Lord. Let them hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Lord, and if you do this for us, Lord, we will be so ever careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory we ask these and all blessings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. And let everyone say amen. We are amen, grateful, amen, to be back on this morning, amen. And we want to draw your attention, amen, to the book of Joshua this morning. Joshua, the first chapter, is where the Lord will lead us, amen, to, amen, speak a word to you from, amen, the book of Joshua, the first chapter, amen, begin reading at the first verse. We're going to read down until the Lord, amen, gives us, amen, hallelujah, the okay to stop, amen. It says, now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses minister saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great, unto the river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. And I was, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good carriage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thine mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Last verse, have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good carriage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. We thank God for the word of God this morning. Amen. And we would like to, amen, focus in on the ninth verse. Amen. God asked Amen. Joshua, a question. He asked him, he asked him a question. He said, have not I commanded thee? Amen. Hallelujah. And if I would speak, amen, a, um, a word upon this topic, it would be, amen. Have, if God speaks to you, nothing is impossible. If God speaks to you, there is nothing that is impossible. Amen. We've, amen, read the first through the ninth verse of the book of Joshua, and amen, maybe some may not be familiar with this story. And we'll take a little time to, amen, try to, amen, explain, amen, amen, and give you just a, a little overview of, amen, where we're coming from today in the scriptures, amen. Joshua, 
was Moses' assistant, amen. He was there, amen, at the exodus of the children of Israel from Egypt, amen, amen. He went with him and gathered all the people together. The Bible said it was 6, 000, over 600,000 men besides women and children that made the exodus from Egypt, amen, when, amen, the firstborn, were, amen, were struck by the Lord, and the Lord, amen, upon the last plague of Egypt, amen, he, amen, amen, struck all of the firstborn of the land. That means every firstborn child in the land of Egypt died, amen. There was death throughout the land, crying, mourning, amen, weeping could be heard all over the land, amen, and amen, Pharaoh, amen, thrust the people of God out and Amen. This Joshua that we're reading about in our lesson today, amen, was Moses, amen, minister, amen, meaning he was his, amen, right-hand man. He helped him to gather the people together, amen, and to organize the exodus, amen, and he, amen, uh, organized the trail, amen, out of, amen, Egypt and to the Red Sea. You know the story, when they gathered at the Red Sea, amen, the, the Egyptian armies were behind them, and Amen. They call upon the name of the Lord and God, amen, told them to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It is this Joshua that we are speaking about today that helped, amen, Moses throughout, amen, his prophetical ministry and his leadership over the nation of Israel. Amen. This was a, an easy task. Amen. Hallelujah. After Amen. God divided the Red Sea. Amen. They crossed through on dry ground and came across on the promised land. And the Bible says, which the Egyptians are saying to do were destroyed. Amen. And the people began to rejoice and he organized and God gave him specific instructions on how to lead God's people. He gave him the law in Mount Sinai. Amen. And hallelujah. God began to use him in a mighty way. Amen. And Joshua, amen, stuck with him in the whole journey. Amen. He went with him. He worked with him. He prayed with him. He assisted him in everything that he had to do. And when it was Moses' time to pass off the scene, amen, it was this Joshua, amen, that was there right by his side. And amen, God gave him a charge, amen, to charge Joshua and to make him captain over God's people and, and we, this is where we come into our lesson amen which says after the death of Moses amen hallelujah Joshua amen begin to take the reins and begin to amen lead the people of God as they cross the Jordan Sea as they begin to cross the Jordan Sea into the promised land to obtain the promise of God amen because God told Moses he couldn't go in because, amen, he had done something that displeased God, amen, he had done something God told him not to do and instructed him not to do, therefore, amen, he had to remain on the other side, amen, and amen, Joshua was, amen, given a charge, and God was showing him what to do in our lesson today, and God began to speak the word into his life, amen, there were certain points in this lesson today that really stand out to me, amen, as God began to promise him victory, hey, amen, he told them that no man would be able to stand before him, amen, no man would be able to stop him because he had a charge from God, and when God speaks and gives you a charge, that means God's going to be with you, that you have a guaranteed victory, amen, and we as the people of God ought to know, I want you to know that, amen, if God is with you, you don't have no reason to fear, amen, what man can do unto you, because God has a plan for your life, amen, which brings to mind another scripture that says, when the Lord spake to Israel, and he said, amen, and I know the thoughts that I have toward you, thoughts of peace, and to give you, amen, a expected end. God has an expected end for his people, amen. So we need not to worry about the journey, amen, the disappointments, the distractions that we face on a daily basis, even when sickness and pain begins to rack our body, amen. We know that we have a living God that is able to deliver on time, amen, and if we call 
upon the name of the Lord, we shall be saved. Amen. Here, amen, amen, God, amen, laid his message with, amen, guarantees of victory, amen, because, amen, Joshua began to gather the people together. He held the people responsible to the word of God. They began to serve, amen, God, with all of their hearts, amen, and God began, amen, to remember the promise that he made unto Abraham way back over 400 years ago, God told him that he was going to bring his people into the land that he had tread upon, huh? the land that he had seen. Amen. It makes me excited. Amen. Every time I think about this story, when God told him, he said, look, he said, as far as you can see, this belongs to you. Amen. And the Bible said, Abraham believed God <clears throat> and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. So it's this, amen, Joe, uh, Joshua, amen, that we're speaking, they're standing in the land of promise, standing at the brink of the promise of God, and God, amen, speaks to him, and he, amen, he reassures him, amen, that he would get the victory, amen, he needed to have faith, amen, he didn't need to show any blemish of, of, of unfaithfulness or fear, amen, when we stood before the enemies of God, those who would try, amen, to stop his forward progress. And there, I want to stop for a moment, with you and amen, just to inform you, just because we are saved and just because we have a promise on our life, it doesn't mean that we are not going to face opposition, amen, that we, the devil is not going to try to get in our way, amen, not going to try to trick us, amen, not going to try to, amen, keep us from getting the promise that God Amen, has already promised us, amen, and that, amen, leads me to tell you, amen, that we have a promise, amen, the promise is already given, <laughs> amen, but it must be obtained through faith and obedience, <laughs> so, amen, it is our job as the people of God, amen, to obtain the promises of God, <laughs> amen, to do what God, amen, amen, commands us to do so that we can obtain the promise of God, in our lives. Hey, oh, I'm so glad that I answered the master's call. <laughs> Amen. Because I have a guaranteed victory if I continue with him. <laughs> Amen. Philippians 1 and 6 said, He which have begun a good work in you shall perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. <laughs> amen. So what God started in you, amen, he's going to finish. <laughs> if you stay on course and stay in his will, <laughs> we have no reason to fear. <laughs> amen. He told, amen, amen, Joshua, amen, it must have been an awesome task, amen, to see these same people that gave Moses so many problems. <laughs> amen. How would he expect anything different? <laughs> But God told him that to be very courageous about what, amen, about his assignment and what he was calling him to do. God told him, I want you to bring this people, amen, the people of Israel, which were well over a million people, amen. I see, he said, I'm going to touch their hearts and they're going to obey you like they obeyed Moses. They're going to respect you like they respected Moses. They're going to revere you as they revered Moses and they're going to follow you. A new generation had risen, amen, and they were ready for the promise of God. I wonder if there's somebody out there in the listening audience that is ready for the promises of God. You're tired of the detours, you're tired of waiting, amen, and you know that it's your time now, time for the promise of God to be fulfilled in your life, amen, and hallelujah, when it's time, amen, nothing can stop the work of God in your life, nothing can stop what God is trying to do, amen, when he wants to bring the promise to pass, there is no power that can stop God, there is nobody that can stop you if you're in the plan of God, so he offers Joshua a very stern, encouraging word, let's read down and read just a little more of it, he told him in the sixth verse, he said, be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. He said only be strong and very courageous. Amen. Don't give in to any other feelings of disbelief. Amen. Or self-confidence.
confidence, but be strong. Amen. I wonder if I got somebody that wants to be strong. You know that you have, amen, opposition. You know that you have trouble that you may face, but amen, God tells him to be strong in the face of your competition, of your haters, of of those that don't want to see you be blessed. God said, be strong and be very courageous. Just because you have enemies, it doesn't mean that they can throw the promise of God on your life. Look how far you've come. And if the devil had his way, you wouldn't have made it this far. But it's because of the promise of God. It's because somebody prayed for you, had you on their mind. I, I want to encourage you today that, amen, you have prayers behind you. I, amen. Not only from your grandmother and your grandfather, your mother, your father, your sister, or your brother, I, but Jesus prayed that our faith would not fail us. I, Jesus offered a prayer some 2,000 years ago, I, and it's still active today. It's still activating itself in the life of those, amen, who are walking by faith and not by sight. I, amen. We don't walk by what we see. We walk by the word of God. We walk by what God says. And because God said it, amen, I believe it, amen, and hallelujah. I don't have to fear because I know that God is not a man that will tell you a lie. Neither is he the son of man that he needs to repent. So I want to encourage your faith today. I want to encourage you to be strong and very courageous. I want you to observe the word of God. I want you to observe what God says because that is what's going to make you strong. It's what's going to keep your attention where it needs to be. We need not to let our minds wander when we need to be focused on what God is saying. Amen. As a record I've heard, you got to be focused like way up. You got to get your focus on God and on the things of God so that you can believe that the God that's placed a charge on your life will deliver on time. Amen. This is the charge that God gave. Amen. Joshua, he said, be strong and very, very courageous. We're going to have to be strong now. Amen. Going in, amen, to the evening hour of the dispensation of grace. Time is winding up and weakness is not an option, but we've got to be strong in faith. You don't necessarily have to be strong physically, But you do have to be strong in faith and very courageous. Amen. You can't be, amen, hallelujah, dismayed. Amen. You can't be distracted. But you've got to keep your mind on God in order to know what you need to do. So that you've got to accompany those whose, amen, goals and ideals are the same. Amen. Eagles and pigeons don't fly together because eagles fly on a higher level. You got to fly with those that are flying on the level that you need to be on to keep your mind where it needs to be. Because the Bible says, amen, it is the word of God that gives us power, amen, to obtain the inheritance that God has planned for us. Jesus said, I go away to prepare a place for you. And if I go away, I'm going to come again and I'm going to receive you unto myself. He gives us, amen, the assurance uh, that when he goes away, he's on his way back. Uh, Amen. We've got to be ready uh, if we want the Lord to help us through. Uh, Amen. The struggles that we go through. Uh, Amen. Everybody has them. They're not, amen, just particular to you. Uh, You're not the only one that has problems. Everybody. uh, From the White House to the dog catcher. Uh, Amen. Everybody got struggles they're going through. Everybody's got financial problems and situations situations uh, that they've got to face and engage. Uh, but if you put your trust in God, everything is going to be all right. Uh, God is going to see you through this all right. Uh, and you'll be able to be strong. Uh, you'll be able to speak faith. Uh, you'll be able to speak positive uh, because we can't walk in faith uh, and speak doubt uh, and fear. Uh, amen. Your conversation has to follow the faith uh, that is in your heart uh, so that if you believe the promise promise of God. You got to talk like a believer. You got to be a believer because your steps are ordered by the Lord and God is going to strengthen you and empower you to obtain the promise
things that he's promised on your life. I may not have no witnesses in here this morning. Amen. But I'm dependent upon God. I'm not dependent upon myself, but I'm dependent upon the grace of God to give me the strength. Amen. As I rode along on yesterday, meditating on the word of God. See, we got to meditate on his word as amen. God told Joshua. He said, this book of the law, I want you to meditate on it both day and night. We got to regurgitate the word of God and get it down in our hearts. So we can say like David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. We got to have the word on the inside. We got to meditate on it. We got to quote it. We got to believe it. We got to get it in our minds because the Bible says with the mind I myself serve the law of Christ but with my flesh the law of sin so this word has got to come off the page and it's got to get into our minds so that when we face difficulties we'll speak the word of God to our situations and I'm here to tell you if you speak the word of God everything is going to be alright I wish I had a witness in this house in radio land that could touch and agree and pray for me that God will use me to continue to speak the word because somebody needs some guidance to get through that tough place that you're at but the word is all you need because the word is quick and it's powerful you ought to tell somebody next to you that the word of God is powerful it's sharper than any two edged sword and if we use the word of God it is the sword of the spirit. When we take unto us the sword of the spirit, the Bible says, which is the word of God. We can fight the battle. I don't know nobody that fights a battle that don't have no weapons, but God gives us a weapon. He gives us shields. He gives us protection gear to help us through our tough place, to help us to fight the battle. And honey, if you don't know by now, I'm going to tell you we're in a battle and it's a battle and a test of our faith that if we have faith in God everything is going to be all right everything is going to be all right because we put our trust in the living God he will not fail us he will not turn from us he will keep that which we have committed unto him against that day so we give God the praise he tells us that the, this book of the law should not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night I'm reading from the 8th verse it says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein then thou shalt make thy way prosperous if you want to amen make your way prosperous you got to meditate on his word you got to not let the word of God depart out of your mouth you've got to keep it in your mouth and folk don't like to hear this kind of talk because folk don't have enough discipline to study the word of God and to meditate on it. We can meditate on everything else, but we don't keep the word in our minds. Therefore, when we need the word, we don't have a reservoir of the spirit of God on the inside that will encourage us and empower us. Amen. I remember the song. It says, fight and win against all evil. Never run. Neva lag behind. If you want to win, for the Lord is right. You've got to stay on the firing line. You've got to stay before God on your knees. And you've got to pray sincerely and meditate on the word of God. These are the ingredients that will keep you connected with the victory. Because only the word of God will give you the victory. Because in the beginning was the word and the word was with amen God and the word was God when you got the word in your mind you have a piece of God in your mind you've got God in you when you speak you speak God and the promises of God you've got to not only have it with you you've got to have it in you Jesus said I'll be in you a well of water springing up into everlasting life oh I feel like preaching this morning. Oh, I feel like running. 
but the Lord wants me to stay right here, amen, and preach this word because somebody needs a word from God. Somebody needs an encouraging word. Somebody needs to know how to fight and to win against the forces of the demons of hell that are going to come against your mind. We are living in a time where folk are going through so much, they're about to lose their mind. Folk are, amen, purchasing rifles and guns, amen, to fight this fight with the weapons of this world's warfare. But my Bible tells me that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. Amen. Our weapons of prayer and fasting, reading the word, meditating on the word, and being able to be armed with the sword of the spirit so that we'll know how to use the weapons that God has given us. We've got to know how to use what God has given us. We can't run from the battle, but amen, we got to be like David. David didn't run from his enemies. He ran to them, which puts them, amen, with a different mindset. Amen, I've got a gun, but this fool is running to me. He ain't running from death because he's running to death. Death is my victory. If I can get out of here and be right with God, amen, death is my friend. It's just a transition to take me from this life to my promise. Oh, my God, my spirit rejoices this morning. My spirit rejoices because my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I did not trust the sweetest frame, but holy, lean on the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, my hope is built on the word of God. My hope is built on what Jesus said. Though there are many voices uh, that are beckoning for my attention, uh, but my attention uh, and my ears are open uh, to God's word uh, because I know where my deliverance comes from. Uh, Yes, I have difficulties. Uh, Yes, tears run from my eyes sometimes, uh, but the Bible says he's going to wipe all tears uh, away from our eyes uh, and there'll be no more death, uh, no sorrow, uh, no crying for the former things have passed away. Are you looking for that day? Because if we are kingdom, we're operating in future tense. I'm operating in future tense. I'm speaking those things which be not as though they were. And if you're walking by knowledge and logic, this sounds crazy to you because it ain't happened yet. You ain't seen God. You ain't heard God. You ain't seen your mansion. You ain't seen your promise. But amen, through the eyes of faith, I can see, amen, the word of God revealing itself. Amen, when the question was asked in Revelation 7, he said, who and what are these? And the Bible says, he said, the answer of God said to him, these are they that have come through great trials, have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. I'm so glad I can see myself in that number today, a number that could not be numbered, ten thousands upon thousands upon thousands, all washed in the blood of the Lamb, a number men could not count, but I can see myself walking up the King's Highway, amen, with amen, the tamarind of God in my hand, with a praise in my mouth, and with a shout and a dance in my feet, rejoicing in the Holy that has brought me over. If you have that hope, you ought to be giving God the praise right now. You ought to feel the spirit that's moving in this house because the spirit of God liberates our mind so that we can see the salvation of God. I don't know about you in all the chaos and confusion that's going on in this world. I can see the hand of God. I can see the promise of God. I I can see my way out. I I can see my deliverance. And I'm giving God the praise through the storms of life because I know that every storm it has an end. Clap your hands and give God a praise. Amen. And give God glory. 
in the house of God. We just thank God, amen, for his word this morning because we realize that every place where the word of God is being preached, it has been declarated, it has been declared by the word of God that this is the house of God. Y'all remember the story about Jacob, amen, when he fell asleep upon the stone, amen, and he received the vision of God, and he saw the ladder come down from heaven, amen, angel descending and ascending upon that ladder, and he said, this is none other than the house of God, this is the place where God is speaking, this is the place where God is moving, this is the place where bodies can be healed, the word is going forth with power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Come on and give God another praise this morning. We are grateful this morning to know that this hope is alive in our hearts. This hope, amen, we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and that which reaches beyond the veil. This hope I have reached beyond what I see, what I suffer, and what I experience in this life. The hope that I have on the inside. Oh, if you don't have no hope, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> Not in this time. Hope that things will get better. Hope that Jesus is going to come <laughs> and make right everything that is wrong. <laughs> hope that he's going to make the darkness light before us. <laughs> oh, this hope, amen, when you have it, <laughs> you'll stand with tears in your eyes. <laughs> amen. And men will see you <laughs> and say he's crying <laughs> with tears of sorrow. <laughs> But you're crying through the threshold of hope, knowing that our God is going to deliver on time. He's never failed me, and he never will. He's never failed you, because every word that God has spoken, it shall come to pass. And we're here to bring this word to you. Amen. Joshua had an awesome task. But he had a powerful God. The task seems great before us today. But we have an awesome God that will give us directions. Amen. A mindful of so many that had awesome tasks. Unsurmountable. Amen. Obstacles to overcome. But the word of God every time gave them victory. Every time God brought them through. Every time he brought them out. The Bible said these all died in the faith. Amen. I'm looking to die in the faith. If, amen, the Lord should tarry is coming. And when I, amen, my time come, amen, amen, God's, amen, resurrection is not on schedule. Amen. That I, amen, will die in the faith. Amen. I'm not going to receive what God promised me, but I'm going to die holding on to the promise of God. Amen. We've got to be able to hold on in the face of death. If you don't have the faith now in the midst of your difficulties, how are you going to have the faith, amen, in the most deepest struggle of your life when, amen, you're trying to pass on from this life to the next life, not knowing what shall await you there, amen, but we only have the word of God to depend on, and that is, amen, the faith of God's word. That's why I challenge you each and every Saturday, Amen. To grow in faith, grow in knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ so that, amen, when the time of your deepest struggle comes, you can stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You won't have to be moved. You won't have to try to deliver yourself, but you'll be able to wait on the deliverance of God and know that everything is going to be all right. Know, amen, that God is going to answer on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, he's never late. He never, amen, lost the case. He's never lost the battle. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Satan thought he had Jesus. <laughs> when he had him on the cross and when he dropped his head to the locks of his shoulder <laughs> and said, Lama, Lama, Sabathani. 
<laughs> yeah, which means to say, like, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? <laughs> Amen. And he dropped his head to the locks of his shoulders <laughs> and gave up the ghost. Amen. Satan thought he had him. <laughs> oh, but he didn't know who Jesus was. <laughs> Amen. He, throughout his whole lifetime, tried to find out, <laughs> tried to tempt him, tried to attack him to find out <laughs> just who this Jesus was. <laughs> But Jesus was, amen, very God. <laughs> amen, though man in body, but he was God in spirit. Jesus was God man <laughs> as he walked here on earth. So that, amen, on the third day, <laughs> according to the prophetic word of God, <laughs> Jesus rose from the dead with all power in his hands, threw his garments aside, because huh? he didn't need those no more. Huh? Amen. Went down into hell and ramshacked hell. Huh? Freed, amen, the captives. Huh? And they were seen walking through the streets of Jerusalem. Huh? Amen. And those that saw them knew who they were. <laughs> they knew it was David. <laughs> they knew it was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah. <laughs> Amen, Rebecca. <laughs> Amen. And where I was thinking about on this morning, Leah. <laughs> Amen. See, sometimes when our courses, <laughs> Amen, don't make sense. No doubt, Leah, <laughs> the first wife of Jacob. <laughs> Amen. Didn't know. Amen. Hallelujah. Why she was going through what she was going through. <laughs> because Jacob loved, Amen, Rachel. <laughs> He really didn't, amen, he loved her, but he didn't, his heart was with, Jake, was with Rachel. But when I read in my Bible, I tried to find it this morning, I'm going to find it, amen, on this afternoon when I get a little more time. When it, amen, mentioned in the record, amen, that, amen, Leah was buried in the cave of Machpelah, amen, with Jacob, amen, but Rachel, amen, did not, amen, occupy that space because she was his true Amen, first and living wife. <laughs> Amen, when she woke up. Amen, and all the patriarchs, the sojourners, <laughs> and walked the streets of Jerusalem, Isaiah, Jeremiah. <laughs> Amen, all the prophets of old. <laughs> Amen, when they realized the reality <laughs> that God kept his promise, <laughs> they walked up the king's highway <laughs> and was translated <laughs> that they should not see death. <laughs> oh, translated into the kingdom. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful day it's going to be <laughs> when we are, amen, resurrected, <laughs> amen, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. <laughs> and so shall we ever be with the Lord. <laughs> amen. And they without us cannot be made perfect. <laughs> amen. The law and the prophets <laughs> and the saints, amen, of, and the saints of the, of, of the, of the New Testament church shall be caught up together in the midair <laughs> to meet the Lord, amen, and so shall we ever be with him. <laughs> this is the hope that we have, saints. This is why we're holding on. This is why, amen, I'm hanging in there, <laughs> amen, sometimes with tears in my eyes, <laughs> amen, I look at the scripture and I said, be strong and of a good carriage. <laughs> Everything is going to be all right. For there is a season and there is a time for everything under the sun. There is a season, there is a time for what you're going through right now. It ain't always going to be like this. Amen. But after a while, by and by, amen, God is going to deliver on time. After a while, by and by, it's going to, amen, be all right. After a while, it'll all be over. After a while, the sun is going to shine. After a while, the storm clouds are going to pass over. And we're going to shout hallelujah after a while. Amen. After a while, somebody's going to shout when they realize that the storm and the struggle I am in, God has delivered. Amen. Someone is going through some financial difficulties right now. Amen. But after a while, by and by, God is going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive if you put your trust in him. 
Be encouraged and plant your seed of faith. <laughs> Amen. Pay your tithes and offerings. Amen. With your eye on the promise of God. <laughs> The Lord say, prove me now herewith, saith the Lord, if I will not open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive it. Amen. While you're waiting for God is with sicknesses in your body. Amen. Hold on to the promises of God that if there's any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. Amen. And if he have sinned any sin, it shall be forgiven him. Amen. Hold on to God's promise. Even, amen, in times of distress, times, amen, of danger and woe, when you're looking in the face of your own physical demise, know that God is the strength of your life. He will not fail us. He will not forsake us. The Lord is the strength of my life. David said, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes shall come upon me to eat up of my flesh. Oh, they stumbled and failed. Though an host encamp up against me, my heart shall not fear. Oh, hallelujah. The war should rise. In this shall I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple, for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now, shall my head be lifted up after a while somebody's head's going to be lifted up in godly pride knowing that God has heard your prayer amen I'm speaking deliverance to somebody's house this morning I'm speaking deliverance to somebody's situation this morning I'm speaking deliverance to somebody's family this morning you're looking at your family and things are in a disarray don't look like things are going to get no better your children are running rampant doing what they want to do and you find yourself praying and nothing's happening. Amen. But just make sure that your path way is clear to God. Pray, amen, and serve him acceptably with reverence and godly fear. And I'm here to tell you God is going to turn it around and make everything all right. Oh, you've got to believe, amen, that your God has heard your prayer and he's going to make everything all right. He wouldn't have told you to pray if he would not hear your prayer. He would not have told you to pray if he didn't have an answer for your prayers. Amen. He told the prisoner, amen. Man, fear not, because we're all here. And when the gospel was, amen, preached to that God of the prison, not only was he saved, but his whole household was saved. God is interested in saving more than you. God wants to save your house. God wants to deliver you from that addiction this morning. Amen. There's somebody that has an addiction this morning. God said, I'm man enough for your deliverance. Amen. I'm God enough to break the chains of the addiction uh, that grips not only your body but grips your mind. Uh, he's able. Uh, amen. You ought to tell yourself he's able to do it. Uh, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask uh, or think according to the power which worketh in us. Uh, oh, I speak none other uh, than the word of the living God. Uh, it's founded in the pages uh, of the 66 books of this Bible. Amen. I don't preach to you what I heard. I preach to you what is written. Amen. And if it is written, it's right. But if it ain't written, it ain't right. And God won't, amen, honor it. But if it's written, if it's the word of God, God will honor his word when you act upon it and believe it. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Oh, do I have a believer? Do you believe the promise of God this morning? Do you believe his word? Amen. To step out on faith. Step out on his word. I know you stepped out before. Amen. And nothing happened. But step out again. Even as Elisha. 
<laughs> told the young man to step on the mountain and look up <laughs> and see if you see anything. The man came back to, amen, Joshua, to Elijah and said, I don't see anything. <laughs> amen. Elijah said, go and look again. <laughs> oh, he went back and he looked at on the seventh time of him going backwards and forwards. <laughs> he said, I see a little cloud, Elisha. <laughs> it's about the size of a man's hand. <laughs> and as well, <laughs> amen, Elisha, knowing the promise of God and what God has spoken to him. <laughs> he said, amen, hey, amen, hurry up, y'all. <laughs> Get your things together. Let's run. <laughs> because I can hear the sound. <laughs> of an abundance of rain. I'm here to tell somebody that an abundance of rain is about to come into your life. I can see the man, the cloud like a man's hand stretched out and it's coming this way. And God is getting ready to move on somebody's behalf. Somebody that's listening, waiting to hear the word of God, waiting to hear the word of deliverance. God's going to heal and deliver and set you free. He's going to make the darkness light. Whatever's wrong, he's going to make it right. Oh, I can hear the voice of God this morning. Somebody's going to have some canceled debt coming. You're trying to figure out how you're going to pay this debt. But God said, I'm going to cancel it for you. You're going to get an amen a call. Amen. They're going to tell you that the debt has been canceled and it's going to be for a significant amount of money. Oh, but when you get Get your blessing. Don't forget to turn around and give God some praise because the word has already been spoken. Amen. And the word, once it has been spoken, it cannot return void, but it must accomplish the thing wherein to God has sent it. And every word of God is right. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah to the Lamb. Every word of God is right. And and we give God the glory this morning. I'm so glad that I heard the master's call. And I have confidence to believe that what the Lord has promised us, he is able also to perform it. Amen. We're just so grateful this morning to speak this word to you. If God speaks to you, amen, go forth in confidence. Amen. If you have a word, amen, that the Lord has spoken into your life, and he'll speak to your pastor. He'll even speak to you and tell you everything is going to be all right. God spoke to me way back. I believe it was 1993 in a Monday night prayer service in my church. And he did it on three or four consecutive Monday nights. And he spoke to me. And I've held on to that word ever since it was spoken. And every time... I get into a difficult place where as though I can't see my way out. <laughs> I speak that word that he spoke to me. Yes, God. <laughs> Amen. After a while, by and by, <laughs> the storm clouds pass over. I tell you, you need a word from God. Joshua had a word. That's why he was able to bring the children of Israel into the promised land and to divide unto them his inheritance. Victory is ours. Amen. In the word of God. We hope that something was said to you this morning that will strengthen your faith. That will give you a greater confidence to believe God's word. Because the word of God is true. And the word of God has come to liberate us. The Bible says, stand fast in the liberty where with Christ have made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. God has called us unto liberty. God has called us unto spiritual freedom. Hallelujah. God didn't call us to bind us, to curse us. He called us to liberate us. And I am here today, amen, to remind you of the promise of God that has already been spoken. All you have to do is believe it and walk in it. Until next Saturday, amen. God bless you. And keep us in your prayers as we will pray for you. Amen. The seed has been planted. Go forth and bear fruit. Until we meet again, God bless you. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower.
the righteous runneth to it, and they are saved. In his favor is life. <laughs> oh, in his presence is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. If you need prayer, amen, you can call the station. The number is 240-719-2560. Amen. And we will pray with you. Amen. We will pray for you. And I am confident that the God that I serve is able to deliver on time. God bless you now. And until we meet again, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you.